Hey, what's going on, y'all? I want to uh, share a story uh, that many of you might have heard, but I wanted to extrapolate on it just a little bit more. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to drop it below. Otherwise, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Um, this is the story of David, or I should say King David, um, the guy that wrote a good chunk of the book of Psalms. Obviously, he's a big focus uh, of the book of Samuel. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit about his backstory that you may or may not have heard. Uh, it goes like this. Uh, in 1 Samuel 16, it talks about how um, Samuel goes to find the next king, the one that he's going to anoint um, in replacement of Saul, who has essentially um, not uh, followed God with all of his heart. And so it says that Samuel goes to look uh, for this next king. He doesn't know who it is. He just knows that it's in the house of Jesse. Um, that's the dad. And uh, basically, as he goes up to find him, it says that multiple uh, of the brothers pass in front of him. In fact, it says I think there were seven brothers. Um, and every time David, see, or I should say, every time Samuel sees one of these guys, he basically says, "Surely this is like God's anointed. Look at this dude, right?" And every time um, the Holy Spirit kind of checks him, uh, but basically uh, he checks him and says, "Hey, um, you look at the outside. Uh, God looks at the heart." So all that to be said, um, basically. All seven of the brothers pass by, and uh, and God's like, nah, not them, not them at all. And so basically, Samuel says, hey, well, is there somebody I'm missing here? Is there a brother that's missing here? And they said, well, yeah, there's the there's the youngest brother, uh, but he's out in the field tending the sheep right now. And so basically, what they say, uh, well, he's like, well, bring him in because we're not going to get started until he gets here. And so as soon as he comes in, David, the the baby brother, it says that he was fine looking, he was handsome, he was glowing with health, um, and the Lord was with him. And so. God says to Samuel, that's your guy, right? And uh, and then Samuel anoints him, tells him he'll be the next king, says the Spirit of the Lord descended on David. Um, and from that day forward, this process begins of David's next part of his life. Anyway, here's the deal. Um, that's a pretty common story. Maybe if you know the life of David, you understand why or how that happened. Um, but I actually, when I read this text, I wanted to know, why wasn't David in the house with all the rest of his brothers? He had not so great a relationship with his older brothers. And so um, I did a little deep dive on this, and I'm asking the question, why, where, why, where, why, right? Why, why is he not there? And uh, a lot of people believe that the reason why David wasn't there is that David um, actually was a um, product of another marriage. And so the brothers did not want David around because he might have been an illegitimate child. It might have been the dad had a uh, illicit affair. Whatever the case is, they didn't want David around. They didn't want him around because he would have been part of the heir. He would have been part of the inheritance, blah, blah, blah. And yet what we know that from the story of David is that God uses this guy to become the greatest king of Israel, to write half the Psalms, um, et cetera, et cetera. And it just goes to show you that it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And so if you've had a bad origin story, if you've had a rough go, if your family life sucks, if your family doesn't get you, blah, 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 God is not done with you. God is not finished with you. He's looking at your heart, and he's got a purpose and a plan. All right? So love you guys. I pray that blessings on your life today. Peace.